As top executives from Wall Street's most profitable investment firm testify here on Capitol Hill today, they will be defending their role in the financial meltdown. And they'll be probed about a recent fraud charge brought by the Securities and Exchange Commission in a mortgage-related deal that they structured. Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankfein and the only actual employee named in the suit, Fabrice Tour, will face some intense grilling from senators on the Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations. It's an arm of the larger Senate Committee on Homeland Security. This bipartisan panel has broad jurisdiction in investigations ranging from executive pay to Medicare fraud and tax evasion. Under the chairmanship of Michigan Senator Carl Levin and ranking Republican Tom Coburn, this panel has investigated and exposed some of the largest corporate crimes of the past two decades. In 2002, Senator Levin led an exhaustive investigation into the sudden collapse of Enron, showing that it conspired to mask its sorry financial state from the public through a series of complex transactions that artificially boosted its earnings. Levin and his fellow senators say they have spent a year and a half looking into the role of Goldman Sachs and its peers in the financial crisis and will show evidence that Goldman bet against the mortgage market, including securities it had assembled and sold to its own clients while earning billions. While the panel doesn't have the express right to prosecute, much less determine whether a crime had been committed, it will decide after the hearing whether to recommend the matter to the Department of Justice or the SEC. For Goldman and the rest of Wall Street, the backdrop for today's hearings is President Obama's push to overhaul financial regulation and the public storm over Wall Street's excesses. What transpires today could give a boost to financial reform being debated now in Washington. That's why today's hearings are about much more than just Goldman Sachs. For CNNMoney.com, I'm Ali Velshi on Capitol Hill.